Okay, here's the graph of the three curves that are bounding this region in green here. This green line right here is the 2y plus 4x equals 9. The red graph is 2y equals 5 radical x. Blue line y equals 3. I'm going to make the assumption that you know how to find these points of intersection because that is necessary to determine the best way to find the area between these uh, three graph, three uh, equations. Uh, in making your decision, uh, you have to think about what your strategy is. If you want to uh, integrate with respect to x, that means you're going to have little typical rectangles that look like this. And we'll have to go all the way from x equals 0.75 to x equals, uh, I think that's uh, 36 25ths, 1.44. Um, and as you can see, if we want to find a formula for the uh, area of a rectangle, uh, length of that rectangle is going to be top minus bottom, but that's going to change at x equals 1. So we're going to have two diff definite integrals from 0.75 to 1. We'll be taking 3 minus, uh, well, x depends on this guy, right? That will be the corresponding y value. Uh, and we'll have to take 3 minus that minus 4x plus 9 divided by 2. But then when we get to th this side of 1, we have to go from 1 to 1.44. And we have to use top is still y equals 3, but the red curve is y equals 5 radical x over 2. If we go the other direction, integrating with respect to x, uh, with respect to y, our typical rectangles will look like this. And in all cases, we'll be going from 2.5 for the lower y bound up to 3. And the length of that rectangle will be right minus left. And it'll be the same all the way across the interval. So let's go to board two and see what it looks like. Uh, better yet, let me share my screen so that you can get a bigger picture. There, there is uh, the region again. And here I've actually written the integrals using the Desmos online graphing calculator. With respect to y, we're going from 2.5 up to 3, and it's right minus left. f of y is I solved that first equation for x in terms of y. That means for every y value between 2.5 and 3, the right, the distance from here all the way over, whoop, over to here is this 4y squared divided by 25. And then if I subtract g of y, I get the length of the rectangle. And uh, this is the value of that definite integral, 0.169166666. If I integrate with respect to x, I'm going from 0.75 to 1, but I'm taking 3 minus k of x. k of x is the linear equation solved for y in terms of x, plus the integral from 1 to 36 25ths, uh, which is the point of intersection of the line uh, of the uh, uh, 5 radical x over 2 and the line y equals 3. And I'm taking top minus bottom, 3 minus h of x. And you can see you get the same answer. Which one's easier to do? In my opinion, this one is much easier to do. Okay, and I'm not going to go through the, the integration part. 
I'm making the assumption that the student knows how to do that. So there you go. Thank you.